Hi there everyone, it's Mayan Shah with RVMax.us and today I have a 2006 Monaco Executive 45 Temple 3. This is a custom floor plan, we have the original schematics and it's a dream spec legacy Monaco coach that was built in Oregon during their heyday. It's quite the compelling package. So let's take a tour of the coach, let's test drive it, and let's try to tease out all the details that perhaps you wouldn't notice until after you own the coach. And by the end of recording this video, you never know, I might end up taking this coach on some trip somewhere. The build quality is, it's awesome. The interior, the style, the class, the colors, the, before I ramble on and turn this into a monologue, let's jump right into it. So around front, we'll start with the generator. So it has a hydraulic generator slide, which your service technician will thank you, let me tell you. So it will save you money. And it's just in general, nice to have um, a hydraulic generator access. On the gen slide is a 10,000 watt Onan quiet diesel generator. You can start it from the cockpit, from in the bed, and of course from the generator itself. Let me let you hear it start up. So I'm going to pop it back in and all it takes is a nice button. You just open up this flap and this bay is of course lockable and it slides right back in. You know, a couple of these bays have these these uh, locks that are just so satisfying to operate. This has the Velvac triple stack mirrors, and these are by far the best mirrors you'll find on a coach. They are heated, they're all electric, and with a very intuitive control in the cockpit, which we will cover much more in depth later in the video. And they give you just an excellent view down the side of the coach. The side cameras are rendered useless because of these. These are terrific and indicator also will appear there. It'll give you a little more uh, visibility of your indicator. People will be able to see your indicator a little more in addition to the side markers too. Now, speaking of side markers and lights, this has four docking lights and the two, they're two on each side of the coach and they are recessed into the fiberglass. So as you can see, this fiberglass piece was made uh, for that. It's a minor feature. You see it on a lot of coaches, not all though. Some of them do it a little cheaper. It just gives them a, a cooler look for sure. There's a couple little marine things you'll notice as we go through the coach. Um, some in the cockpit too, but that's definitely one of them. Now, this has three slides as I mentioned. Two of them are hydraulic. The large slide right here is hydraulic. The passenger side slide is hydraulic. This driver rear slide is an electronically driven one. An interesting point about the slides is they are all framed in aluminum. So they are a higher quality and they're more lightweight. And speaking of aluminum, the bay doors are also framed out of aluminum and they're insulated, of course, and they're just so um, solid feeling. And on top of that, they don't weigh as much. In addition, we have locking slide trays down in the bays that are also built out of aluminum. Um, so strong material, very against an anti-corrosion and uh, it weighs less, which, you know, on something this big, stuff starts to add up, you know, if you save weight here and there. Now there are window awnings on the, on the bus. I think there's four in total. The paint is in gorgeous condition and the colors are just spot on. There is some paint checking in the paint and that's sort of a reality on most Monaco coaches this age or really um, most coaches this age. And while the exterior isn't perfect and it does have its little flaws here and there, it is an 06. It's not a 2022 model. And unlike most coaches, the sides of the bus have been styled in a way that add to the bus. Instead of just having a flat side, we have this beautiful curvature on the bays and below that curve inwards on the coach and just give it this sleek look. And I think it's safe to say that Ralph Lauren knows a touch more about mixing colors than your average coach manufacturer. But that's just my two cents. We've got a side radiated setup here. It's painted as well, so it just, flows with the rest of the coach. We've got LED rear docking lights, so we do have two here. They are also recessed into that massive, beautiful fiberglass bumper. Now you can see we have a new rear camera as well. And, yeah, I saw the rabbit, it's so cute. Aww. 
And this has the optional 525 ISX Cummins. So these standard came with the ISM 500 Cummins, which is a 10.8 liter, 10.9 liter, 500 horsepower, 1,450 foot-pound of torque Cummins of the, at the time. The 525 ISX is an 11.9 liter making 525 horsepower and 1,650 foot-pound of torque. Which sends power to the wheels through a six-speed Allison 4000 transmission. This is the top dog of transmissions. You really won't see anything more beefier than it. And they are pretty much bulletproof. Now, it does have a dual-stage exhaust brake, which works excellently. And what brings together these two fantastic elements is the Roadmaster S series chassis. This is a 10 airbag chassis, all outboard mounted, and it has increased rigidity than your standard rail chassis. This is a semi monocoque design with extra trusses and support in the cargo bays, which not only strengthens the cargo bays, but increases rigidity on the chassis and spreads stress more evenly throughout. On top of that, there is a tubular steel superstructure up top. I've read on some forums that the S series chassis and some of these semi monocoque roadmasters were able to stand on the roof upside down and take their own weight which is stuff you normally only see if you buy a conversion bus. Now, how true that is, I don't know. Take it with a grain of salt. This is something that I've read on some forums on some longtime owners of Roadmasters. Either way, this is an incredible chassis. It's been a favorite of mine for a long time, and I think there are aspects and characteristics about it that are unique and special in their own way, even when you compare to a proper conversion bus. We're gonna talk a lot more about this chassis on the test drive, so stick around for that. Now back behind this bay, we'll cover it more in depth in the bay tour. We have an aqua hot, uh, unlimited hot water system. And there's nothing like a great running aqua hot wine. In the patio space, we have a Gerard awning with a beautifully painted box. And for some reason, in that candy red, it just kind of hides up there pretty well and it looks pretty slick. But yeah, long length Gerard, and it does have a wind sensor, and there's also an automatic patio light. A solid step, not the regular fold out mechanism, right? This is a full solid step. So as you can see, this has a dual deadbolt lock that's air, so it really seals shut when you are driving the bus, um, which can really reduce noise. And it is very wide as well. You know, things like that, if you need exact measurements of stuff, just reach out, let me know. I'll, uh, you know, you want some, something hilarious like the, the, you know, the diameter of the circle on this lock here, I'll measure it, okay. We also entertain trades and we help out with warranties. We don't push it and we certainly don't push our inventory. Now, one thing I wanna cover before we move on to this stunning interior, I want to cover the optional collision avoidance system that this bus was spec'd with. You'll get to see me actually use this system when we go on the test drive, but it essentially acts as a blind spot detector for both sides of the coach, as well as an active collision warning system. It will scream at you if there's traffic stopping quickly in front of you. And this can actually be a huge lifesaver. And on top of that, it's very convenient if you have varying traffic speeds because you can set your following distance and it will follow traffic in front of you, therefore minimizing the amount of resetting and adjusting the cruise control, which I know that's a first world problem. So let's walk through this interior and there is a recliner in the coach. So this is sort of a Euro style recliner. It's in excellent shape. All the upholstery in the bus is in excellent shape. And I love how these window sills in the front salon space, the big windows, they have these Corian lips and window sills underneath. It just gives them a better look. And all the windows are surrounded in these pieces. Um, they're solid pieces of wood that are all cut and trimmed to, to kind of mold into the, the styling of the coach. And they have this Alcantara in the center. It's just a nice look and um, frames the windows very well. Now these two co-pilot and pilot chairs do swivel. 
These are all furniture pieces that are made by Villa and the finishes are done by Ralph Lauren and they're gorgeous. All the fabrics and the colors in here are fine tuned by the Ralph Lauren package and the furniture is where it's on full display. And the front two seats are just so classy with that dark chocolate piping around the tan leather. They're all in excellent condition too, which is the cherry on top. Now right behind me is one of the two TVs in the salon space, both of which have been upgraded to 4K smart TVs. And yes, there is one other TV on the other side of the salon, in, sort of in the middle of the coach, styled like a newer bus. So it's nice to have TVs in both spots. Now this is the driver's side main couch. It's a J couch and this part does jackknife. so. If you lift this up, you can see that portion jackknifes and becomes flat. There's storage down below. It's pretty unique. Now, yeah, these are all solid wood, just huge roller drawers. And the condition of the upholstery is excellent. It's not absolutely perfect, but it's pretty dang close. And I think it just accents this interior very well because Monaco, they do a classic style of interior where they are really known for doing a lot of solid wood storage. So everywhere you see this beautiful protrusion that holds our dinette light here is also a massive storage compartment. So as you go through the bus, you'll note there's plenty of space to store your stuff. And that's a, a side note that I know a lot of people say storage, 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 but really not a lot of coaches have a lot of storage, although nowadays it's changing, um, but still, I think Monaco for a long time was one of the best at it. It does slide out, so this will extend and there's an extra leaf, so you can add two more chairs. And over here is our mid entertainment center, and there's, again, lots of storage down below. Now this has a surround sound system and it has a, a new Onkyo head unit. So you can play Bluetooth music and just absolutely jam out on this interior. This is the kitchen space. So huge Corian countertop. There is this thick porcelain backsplash and the way it's molded, it just looks like this heavy stone and the colors are just dashing and perfect. Now there's a solid surface sink, a dual solid surface sink. And these Corian pieces fit. This is a pretty deep sink right here. And I like this backsplash, so that'll protect you from splashes when you're washing your hands or washing the dishes or whatever, especially with this um, recliner right here. And that's probably explains why this recliner looks so good. Either that um, or this was replaced at some point because that recliner is in pretty much mint condition. Pretty much every light in the coach, all these recessed lights right here are dimmable. So these under cabinet lights, all you do is go up to one of your multiplex switches. And what's cool about these multiplex switches is you click them once and they light up and then what happens is if you want to dim them you just press and hold and you can dim any of the lights so you can set the ambiance in here to the perfect atmosphere and i absolutely love that especially with this interior because the interior is just so classy and the colors are just perfect and at night with that warm lighting it's just so cozy and inviting to be in now right here there is a dual gas burner kitchen aid stovetop so if you like to cook you'll probably really appreciate this. And that is an interesting facet. So we have the aqua hot system and we have propane for this beautiful stove top um, and this refrigerator, which is a four door Norcold that will run off of either electric or propane. And they're very efficient when they run on propane. And if you ever wanted to go full electric, you easily could because you don't have a water heater replace. I mean, you only have um, a refrigerator, so if this ever went bad, you could just say, hey, I'm gonna go, it's cheaper to put a household in anyways, I'm gonna put a household in, and um, then the only thing left will be the stovetop. Lots of storage down below, and check out how solid and well-built some of these trays are. And this all carpeted too. Yeah, all these drawers are, are beautiful. The cabinetry is very well-made, not stained up like you see on a lot of coaches. Interior is super clean and you'll notice that we just had the floor and the, the tile uh, steam clean so the grout came out pretty nicely. Let's take a step back into the bedroom 
and bathroom area. So first of all, as you walk back through this hallway, you'll just see all this solid wood. Now there's a pocket door right here and it's locked in place in two places. These pocket doors will actually stay shut while you drive and they are substantial. We've got a washer dryer stack right here. There's storage up top. Got a breaker for this washer dryer. Let's close that up. It's probably a breaker for the dryer, um, but it's probably, it might be for both of them. Now you have a thermostat right here for your zones in the back. And this is a big shower, tempered glass enclosed and it is walled in Corian, and you have that beautiful porcelain accent pieces that are built in the wall. There's a built-in soap rack right here, and there's just a lot of space in here, and this helps a lot. There's like a big dome, and it lets a lot of natural light in the coach too, although on an overcast day like today, um, not so much. In fact, it was raining too, but hey, we got to check the seals out. And this is just for the main general bathroom space. It looks absolutely awesome with that backsplash and there's storage space behind all of this. And this is all carpeted and built out of solid wood. Even this right here, this piece is finished in wood and you can push that up and adjust it. There are little drawers here so you can add another shelf. All kinds of space. And I actually have this light off because I feel like it kind of fights that warm color that it, the rest of the lights provide, but there's a little extra light there. And to your right, we have our toilet room. And you have another sink just for the toilet room, which I absolutely love. Huge countertop space, awesome backsplash again, a lot of medicine cabinet space, all built out of solid wood. You've got this gorgeous accent piece around the window. There's just in general, a lot of space in here. There's a fantastic fan that looks like it was replaced recently because it's super clean. Oh yeah, look at this newer controller too. That's sweet. That's very nice. Yeah, a lot of space in here. There's rope lighting, accent lighting. And I love how this wall to the left of the toilet room, how those pieces of wood kind of meet. It just looks really cool. Now let's step back into the bedroom space and we, took out the carpet that was back here and put in a new LVP floor that is made flush with the tile so there's no lip. Lot of space, a lot of storage, especially on this side right here. So I like this setup. You've got the little Corian countertop. It just feels nice and feels warm and cozy and you let some light in with this, this beautiful window. You can slide it open. There's a, a awning that comes out above it. So if it's raining, you can still vent air through the coach and get that fresh air through. A lot of storage space down below. And this whole wardrobe is just solid. Lots of space here. We've got a little, you can use it as a hamper or whatever you'd like. But either way, it's a huge storage space. And before we move on, there is a push button TV. So there's a button right by the headboard and there's a button right here and the TV slides out. And that is an updated Samsung smart TV. So all of the interior TVs have been updated and that's just a slick feature right there. And there's actually a wood trim piece that goes on top of that. So we're going to have that put back on. It's a very simple thing. It just needs to be attached properly right here, but there's a wood trim piece. So um, what it'll look like is just flush wood. It's, you won't even see the TV like that. Now this is a king size bed, huge window at the headboard, Corian countertops on both sides, controls to control your outside dock lights, your main lights in the coach, you got master off. So you don't want to have to get out of bed to shut your, your dock lights off or on, um, or to kill the rest of the lights in the coach. There's again, a lot of storage up above and you've just got these beautiful wood trim pieces. It looks like a lot of time and effort went into, uh, I mean, there's grapes that have been chiseled out of wood. It looks pretty cool. Now in the back, we have an absolutely massive wardrobe. It's the cherry on top of all of the immense amount of storage space that this coach has to offer. You've got woodwork in there and there are lights in here um, via a push button on the multiplex. So that was a nice little touch. So yeah, 
To cap off all the incredible storage in this coach, we've got a substantial wardrobe space. And before we move on, I just wanna point out that yes, it's very easy to get to this side of the bed too. As you see, they cut this all out. And of course we have the engine back here, engine access right there. Um, but it's nice that they thought about that. So it's very easy to climb into bed. There's no getting on the box or anything. It's just a straightforward walk on both sides of this bed. Wow, what a classic interior. I have definitely fallen in love with this coach and the interior is a huge reason for that. Every time I'm in here, I just feel the atmosphere and it just puts me in a state of relaxation and it makes me want to hit the road. Let's take a peek at the cockpit right before we do hit the road so you're familiar with the controls on this bus. So in the cockpit, we do have a smart wheel. Cruise control is located on there and you can use that to fast idle the coach to avoid wet stacking. And on the right side, we have our windshield wiper controls and you can set the time in between each windshield wiper pulse to exactly what you want. It's actually a really cool system. You can also flash your headlights and flash your taillights for courtesy. Now there's also an excellent air horn and to the left, we have a bunch of the interesting controls on the bus. On the far left, our emergency brake, we've got a bunch of auxiliary defrosting fans. We've got a bunch of extra defrosting fans in addition to the ones built into the regular climate control um, that come out on the bottom. We've also got mirror heat, and this is where we control our mirrors. So remember, each mirror has three different mirrors within it, right? So this is top, middle, bottom, and this is left and right. So you can electronically control every single one, all six mirrors. And there are indicator lights built in the mirror too to increase the visibility of your indication. Now this is where we control our engine brake. It's a dual stage. We've also got electronic, um, electronically driven shades, sunshades. This is where we control our six-speed Allison transmission. This is where we can dump our tag, automatic traction control, as well as the adjustment for the pedal. So you can bring the pedals in and out um, to really assist in how long your legs are. Now we have our HWH computerized air leveling right here. You can manually level the coach if you'd like, um, or you can set auto and it will hold itself and make any adjustments and corrections with via the accessory air compressors. And it holds its level pretty well. Right now we're sitting on a pretty big incline and it's been sitting here for quite some time and it's held as it should. Now these instruments are marine grade instruments. They're they're by Feria, or I believe that's the how, the correct pronunciation of it, but the instrument panel is quite gorgeous. Up to the right, we have our radio control, which is where you can control your Aladdin through that screen right there. This is our radio center, and this is where our cameras are. So if I turn this on, we've got side cameras, rear cameras, they all appear right there in their own dedicated screen. Let's pack the coach in and hit the road. <laughs> It's definitely a comfortable driving coach. Right now, I'm currently floating in the left lane, feeling absolutely thrilled that I'm behind the wheel of a Roadmaster S chassis yet again. They're one of my favorite chassis outside of the Prevo world and even compared to a conversion bus. There are many times, I, I remember vividly jumping out of a Prevo XL bus and jumping back into a 05 Navigator with the Roadmaster S chassis right after coming back so I could get that fresh side-by-side -side comparison. And I absolutely loved how the S felt. The S chassis is something to behold. It's an absolute joy to drive and the way it just wants to rest in the lane, it's butter smooth. The ride is um, top notch. As I shift into this lane very casually, the coach has this, this, um, this rigid feel, but at the same time, it's willing to float and give. 
it's the best combo. Um, and that increased rigidity from that semi-monocoque design about the S chassis is uh, definitely contributing to this ride quality. I mean, sitting here in this lane is just, it brings a smile to my face as the coach warns me that I'm increasing my speed towards this traffic that's going very slow in front of me. I'm gonna shift lanes. There's that exhaust brake. Feels terrific. Both stages, that's, that's low right there. That's plenty. I haven't touched the brakes yet. Oh, am I gonna get away with it? Didn't touch the brakes at all. <laughs> 1,650 foot on a torque. Absolutely nail it. Oh, it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> That's definitely more than a 500 Cummins. And trust me, our 07 Eagle was a 45 footer with the ISM 10.9 liter 500 Cummins. And I was stuck in the middle of downtown Bronx with our tow Jeep in tow. So I've had a good bit of miles under my belt with the 500 ISM. So I can assure you this is about 15% more um, as far as feel goes, maybe 10% over the ISM, but it's definitely noticeable. And right now um, I feel bad for Kaya behind the camera because I'm flooring it and then getting on the exhaust brake so I don't get a speeding ticket. <laughs> Let's go back to butter smooth driving, which this coach is very good at doing. By the way, the step out light is on. It's probably a sensor because the step is clearly in. And even with those sensors, I never trust them because I always look in my mirror to check anyways if my step came in. So that's a minor thing. But the coach drives absolutely phenomenally. This coach is so much more solid feeling than that previous S chassis. And I can tell you that the 2009 um, Holiday Rambler Imperial, I can reference that as one of the many later model S-Line ch chassis, um, it feels very much closer to this than the previous iterations of the S chassis. Um, it's one of the greatest chassis around, if you're asking me. Now in this first compartment, we have a dual fillable 150 gallon steel tank for our diesel fuel. And on the right of that, we have a horizontally mounted propane tank that is 38 gallons. And you'll see expansion reservoir for our boiler fluid on the aqua hot system. Then right next to that, we have an access point to the propane. So you can have a nice little outdoor grill if you want. Now the next compartment over is a beautifully carpeted pass-through storage compartment with no slide tray to give you extra height. And on the left of that, we have a full pass-through storage compartment, again, with carpeting and a wide slide tray that's lockable in multiple positions. And remember, all these bays are steel-structured. That's right, steel-structured. And there's another slide tray on the left. There's actually three pass-through storage compartments here. And on this storage compartment, we've got outlets and we've also got our Magnum inverter. And this is a 3000 watt 2812. Someone might have upgraded this or this came like it from the factory, but that is a 3000 watt inverter, which allows that household fridge upgrade to make much more sense in the future if you do have to. Now on the compartment to the left, we have our aqua hot heating system. This will provide us with unlimited hot water and it will also collect heat off of the engine. So if you run the coach, you'll get furnace heat and hot water just by running the coach. There's also a thermostatically controlled heater out here because this is the compartment that also houses our tanks. We have a 100 gallon fresh tank, a 56 gallon gray tank, and a 56 gallon black tank, which is huge for a black tank. Now this compartment right here behind the passenger side tag axle is where we have our coach and chassis side batteries. On top, we've got four six volt batteries, two banks making 12 volts a piece. I actually personally put those batteries in myself, so they're new batteries. And on the bottom, we have three chassis batteries. So one extra than you normally see. And there are hard marine cutoffs too. So when you go to store the coach, you will be guaranteed that you're not going to come back to dead batteries. Now, the last compartment is just a small extra carpeted compartment. They didn't have to do this, but they added it. And all of these little doors have these beautiful metal clasps, but we've got extra tiles in here for the coach. So that's a plus. Now, down the driver's side of the bus, we have our plumbing bay. This is a gorgeous stainless steel plated plumbing bay with a stainless steel outside faucet. 
We've got an electric cord reel, electric water hose reel, a manifold block so you can easily cut off and isolate leaks and continue to use the bus. And to the left of this compartment, we have, again, access to our full pass-through storage compartment, an automatic transfer switch with a surge guard built in on the left. And these slide trays will actually open on this side of the bus as well. So you can get to your items from both sides of the coach. And the carpeting is in excellent condition. And I just love the fact that these compartment doors are so well insulated. You can tell how thick they are. They're full of insulation. Now here we've got an extra propane tank. This goes with the coach. We've got an emergency rollback. So for the Gerard, if you ever have an emergency situation, you can roll that Gerard back in. And on the other side, this is where we can fill our propane. We've got an air chuck up here and a propane valve, as well as again, access to our diesel fuel tank from this side of the coach. And all of these doors have these gorgeous little shocks that just make operating them a dream. And the very forward compartment on the driver's side is full of mostly chassis side fuses and electrical with additional things such as the control for the hydraulic gen slide as well as an emergency reset for the air leveling system. Diesel fuel tank from this side of the coach. And all of these doors have these gorgeous little shocks that just make operating them a dream. And the very forward compartment on the driver's side is full of mostly chassis side fuses and electrical with additional things such as the control for the hydraulic gen slide as well as an emergency reset for the air leveling system. The roof is a one piece fiberglass roof and all of the seals are in excellent condition including around the sunlights, the vents. We've also got three roof air conditioners which all work great and the shrouds are in good shape. It looks like one of them has been changed. There's a newer digital antenna here and an older WineGuard satellite. Now, as we walk back, you'll notice there's a dome there for a built-in shrouded exhaust fan for the kitchen. And again, the condition on this roof is just top-notch. And the clear coat, while it's not perfect everywhere, is actually in really good shape on the front and rear caps. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stick around for more content like this. If you're interested in this bus, I don't blame you. It's an absolutely stunning coach. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in this coach, here's my phone number. Feel free to call or text that. And I hope you had a great day. Subscribe if you enjoy the content and we'll see you in the next one.